Hi, it's Julie Parkhurst. I just wanted to go through some of the items in our big first aid kit. First off, you get two quilts, two standing bandages, a hoof pick with a brush. This is a bandage knife and it slides down inside a vet wrap bandage and you just slice down. It slices it right off. It's such a cool item. And we have bandage scissors. I have several types of syringes in here. The curved tip syringe is perfect for flushing out puncture wounds. This 35 mil syringe here, if you bore out the tip on it and you mix your butte after it's crushed into a paste with applesauce, even maple syrup, and then you could just squirt it into the back of their mouth like you do when you tube warm them. And we have bandage scissors. I have pipettes. Not a lot you can do with those, but I put them in there. People get creative. Wonder dust right there. That stuff is still an amazing item and product. It's been around a long time. But if you have a big cut on a body that you can't, you know, wrap, then Wonder Dust is perfect. It will keep the proud flesh off. It'll keep flies off. It's great stuff. I've huge, I've healed huge wounds with Wonder Dust. And then a fairly small container of ice type poultice, but that's enough poultice right there to wrap probably eight legs. And then I have furacin. And the only thing I use furacin for is doing a furacin DMSO sweat on joints. And all the items I have here, I have videos that show you how to do it, how to wrap a horse in a poultice, how to wrap a horse in a furacin DMSO sweat, which is an amazing way to, to get swelling out of a joint. Because after you pull the sweat off, you wash it off, take your horse for a walk, and most of the swelling will come down in that process. I have this alcohol here, and it's cool because it's got the flip lid and the push down to use when you want to clean an injection site. I have providing iodine scrub, distilled vinegar, which is an ingredient I use to mix homemade hoof poultice. And I've got a recipe and all the ingredients in our first aid kit for that. The MSO um, roll-on, don't need very much DMSO. It gets hot really fast. Copper tox. This is my favorite product for curing thrush. As you notice, I have labels for everything. I also have warning labels. And anything you see with the first aid cross is something you definitely don't want to get in your mouth or in your eyes. So I clearly mark them. And then a couple hundred mil bottles of saline for flushing wounds or flushing eyes and a squirt bottle of hydrogen peroxide. And then my favorite knee bandage is a spider bandage, and you can see the video for the spider bandage. With every kit is a handbook. The handbook is cool, describes how to do everything, how to take vitals, how to look for heat and swelling, and it goes on and on how to do the different bandages. This is a great book. I wrote it myself. And then there's three bags of gloves with three different sizes. And there's ten gloves in each bag. These papers here, the round ones, are for packing a horse's hoof. You put a glob of poultice on the brown paper and smoosh it into the bottom of the hoof. And it'll stay up in there. Also, there's cutouts for putting poultice on a leg. 
and I have a video that shows how to do that after you put the poultice on. You take your brown paper, get it wet in a bucket of water, and then put it on, and then wrap them with standing bandages, and it will dry out and draw soreness out in a 24-hour period. These cool little betadine iodine scrubs, they're little brushes. You can see the propane in them. Just add a little water, give them a couple squeezes, and you get a nice soft brush to scrub anything out with. The cotton balls are for clean injection site, or I use them when I use the copper tox. You stuff a little cotton around those frogs, stuff it down in the groove there, and then put the copper tox on, and the cotton will hold the copper tox against the thrush, and it won't fall out. And it also won't allow any more manure and mud to pack in there. So it actually has a chance of working. Every kit comes with the beautiful trauma bag, which I'm really proud of. I give you all a huge stack of 4x4 four four gauze, 2x2 two two gauze. Then we have the Provodone iodine swap sticks that are great for getting down inside a cut. Bandage pins specifically designed for horses because of the head that they have. Horses can't bite them off. It's a good way to ensure your bandage stays on. Then a bag of assorted bandages for humans. Uh, Rectal thermometer, mercury thermometer. I would suggest putting a string on the end of it that'll clip or tie to your horse's tail. I've never had it happen, but they say they can suck it in. And then I give in my handbook all the different numbers for temperature, respiration, and pulse. And then I give everybody a dual head stethoscope too. Also included is a pill crusher. You take the top off, put your butte pills in, screw it down, and it'll powder your butte. This little tin is to keep your butte pills in for emergencies. The cool cast is for a fresh bowed tendon or pulled ligaments, um, sesamoid injuries. This cast is amazing. You've got to go on our website www.horseforstatekit.com and watch the video for running a cold cast. There's nothing like it. It will pull the heat out. It will tighten up all the swelling and take it out. And you can leave them on for four to five days at a time. It's an amazing bandage and hardly any vets even carry it anymore. We used them at the racetrack quite often. I've even used them to prep a horse the night before a race to make sure there was absolutely no filling in his ankle. Besides that, if somebody who's looking to claim my horse, you put a cool cast on him and they'll they'll turn around and go the other way. <laughs> They're not gonna take a chance on a horse done up in a cool cast, so I kinda like that little trickery there. If I was trying to steal a race, a cheaper claiming race with a horse only had one horse ever claim from me because people saw me working all day long on my horse's legs and they didn't know who was sound and who wasn't. I include some KY lubricating jelly. You can use these individual packets for putting on your thermometer to insert into the horse's rectum because some about a horse rectums are always dry and kind of hard to put the thermometer in and the horse gets uncomfortable. But with the lubricating jelly, it just slides right in. I give you three vet wrap, two cold packs, plastic sheets for sweating legs. Again, CRFures and DMSO sweat. 
10 individually wrapped sterile gauze pads, four by four, four rolls of um, roll gauze, Epsom salts to mix with your bentonite clay powder to make homemade poultice, but mostly for packing hooves. We packed hooves after every race and every workout because just to, if by some chance they got a bruise, it would draw out the soreness and prevent abscesses from forming because of a bruise. Also, three different types of tape. I've got cloth tape and I've got paper tape and the electrical tape I use on bandages. It's tough and doesn't come off. There's some individually wrapped triple antibiotic ointment packages. There's 10 of those. Red cling roll gauze, which is, a lot of people use them just to wrap the mare's tail for breeding or keeping it out of the way, but it also works as a bandage too. It's nice and wide. You can see compared to the vet wrap. The Tide Soap is my favorite thing. If you put a horse's foot in a warm water bucket with Tide Soap in it, and the horse has scratches or scabs or a cut or anything on their pasterns, the Tide Soap will eat that scab away and then leave that horse with a nice, soft, clean surface. Because it's really hard to heal scratches until you get all those thick scabs off and you can't pick them off because they're attached to proud flesh and they just bleed like crazy. So soak them off. I love Tide Soap. I give everybody two saline flushes, 12 mil, and then everybody gets two 10 mil syringes, two five mil or six mil syringes and two three mil syringes and four needles, 18 gauge and 21 gauge. Everybody gets alcohol prep pads and provodone iodine prep pads. With the bentonite clay powder and Epsom salts and vinegar, I have the recipe that comes with your kit for making that poultice. With that amount of clay, and this amount of Epsom salts, even half the bag actually, you could use the other half for mixing with your warm water to soak your hooves to try to, to soak and draw out an abscess. There's enough clay powder, Epsom salts to do a really nice amount of poultice. You could probably pack 10 hooves with that amount of poultice that you would make. And it's super easy to buy a bag of the bentonite powder. This 50 pound bag compared to this 25 pound bucket of poultice, the cost, it, it doesn't even compare. But I like this better for legs than the bentonite clay, just because it washes off a little easier. But if you pack a horse's hoof and in the morning come back and pick it out, it comes right out. It's great stuff. So there you have it. That is a lot of items. Oh, I missed this. I give you a few sheets of sheet cotton, which you can fold up and make into a quilt for a hawk or a knee. And also you can use thin slices of it to put over your Furus and DMSO before you put the plastic around it because it'll help it from getting too hot. And I also want to tell you, whenever you change medicines, the only thing I don't have in here that I would add is some um, absorbing junior liniment. I think everybody should have a bottle of lim liniment also to rub their horses down. I have videos that show how to do all of the different bandages and treatments for 
finding and fixing your horse's injuries. And it's nice because all you do is you grab the bag and you go and you're ready for whatever has happened. I had a girl call me the other day and said she she had a friend whose horse was trapped and they didn't know how injured he would be. So she grabbed her first aid kit and off she went. And she said it was so cool. She said her friend was really impressed with how prepared she was for emergencies. And that's our goal is to prepare everybody for emergencies on their horses. Julie Parkhurst, checking out. Goodbye.